looking through the window. The window to your heart. Oh, baby, yeah. And a little doubt there. And now we're springing tears. It's whatever, whatever make you feel that way. Don't you worry, cause I'm gonna stay right by your side. You just keep on looking through the window. Looking in your eyes. Hey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Sound like a little Michael Jackson, huh? Little Micah. Anyway, uh, hope all is well. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I hope you are doing well and staying alive. Stay in the line. But this story, um, I got this story from the shade room, y'all. And this is it's kind of disturbing to me. Um, but that's what goes on in prison. So I guess he got his just due. Cause there's a, a Texas inmate that was accused of killing twenty two elderly women. Somebody couldn't take him. They was like, uh uh-uh. uh. This article came uh, from Nick Finley, and um, let's check this out. According to AP News, Hannah Haney, a spokesperson for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, says authorities discovered the body of Billy Chimirmir on Tuesday, September 19th. His cellmate, another convicted murderer, was identified as the assailant. However, how Chimir Mir was killed and his cellmate's identity haven't been released to the public. Haney reportedly also declared that the Office of Inspector General is investigating this case. Um, while the details surrounding Chamir Mir's death was remain hazy, the accusations against him are crystal clear. AP News reports that Billy Chamir Mir was indicted on 22 counts of murder. The 50-year-old was suspected of targeting elderly women, this punk ass, before invading their homes to suffocate and rob them. Now, what I, I'm I'm so glad. I hope you had a cherry on top of your ice cream. Nameless person. Additionally, we should, I mean, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. It's just really that simple. Additionally, we should note that 13 of the charges are based in Dallas County, while the remaining nine stem from Collin uh, County. Ultimately, he was convicted of killing Mary Brooks and Luther Harris, 87 and 81, respectively. Really, dude? Really? Really, dude? It's also worth pointing out that NBC5 Dallas Fort Worth uh, separately confirmed the news of Chamir Mills' recent passing. And the station dove into the crimes attributed uh, within a series called Stranger at the Door. Despite the numerous allegations and two convictions, Chamir Mir maintained his innocence. In fact, he previously told the Dallas Morning News, I'm not a killer. 
Before his passing, the 50-year-old was serving out two life sentences at H and H Coalfield Unit Prison in Anderson County, Texas. Mm -hmm. Have you, you, oof. did you see the ages of them, eighty-one and eighty-seven, respectively? Do you, you done? That's why you done. That's why he stuck a fork in you. You overcooked. I don't know. What what y'all think about that? The story just really disgusted me. It just really disgusted me. I, I mean, this is... I can't stand elderly abuse and I can't stand baby abuse. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. Tell me what y'all think. Or am I just tripping? Is this one of the stories that make you happy? That he got his dessert. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Okay.